guys, so I'm just filming a little short here. Um, so as you guys may or may not know, I'm a community health worker and the main thing that I focus on with my job is um, COVID vaccine awareness. Now you guys have seen me, if you haven't checked it out, check it out up here, um, I went and got the COVID vaccine. My very first time I vlogged the experience, actually it might've been my second time, I guess I'm not sure. Um, and I'm going for my bivalent booster right now. And I feel like I had no idea what was going on despite the fact that I'm like supposed to be in the know. So I figured I would try to give it a, a, a good explanation. So that if you are thinking about it or you're like, hey, I haven't really gotten my shot in a while that you can think about it. So obviously there's a lot of different variants out there. There's Omicron, there's Delta, you know, um, there's some with periods and numbers and letters and whatever. <laughs> So basically COVID has evolved into these different variants. And basically when they were like, okay, we have to make the vaccine better. You know, it has to be stronger. It has to be good enough. Um, as it evolves, they created something called a bivalent vaccine, meaning that it would cover more variants than just your simple, basic primary series, which is like the first couple shots we all got like the, the first shot in the booster or the second booster, you know, things like that. So the bivalent is basically going to become, from what I understand, the gold standard for, okay, you need a booster, here you go. Obviously, COVID and respiratory illnesses are going to constantly be changing. So that's nothing new. Uh, we know this. But this vaccine is supposed to help. Now, not everybody is carrying one of the manufacturers, you know, I'm, I so far I've only gotten Moderna and that's what I'm getting today. Um, I'm getting a, Moder a Moderna bivalent booster. However, I did hear that there's some issues um, with either the stock of the Moderna bivalent or some clinics are just not using Moderna. I'm not sure what's up with that because it still has a pretty, from what I understand, it still has a pretty good um, success rating. So that's a little confusing, um, but it's really important to make sure you and your family are updated on vaccines. You know, it's the after the holidays. So you can't necessarily say protect your loved ones before the holiday, but it doesn't mean you can't protect your coworkers, your friends, anybody that you think might, you know, you need that extra protection if you don't want to get sick. And I get that there's some people that are like, hey, you know, you don't want to get COVID again. But some people don't care. I do have news for you on that. If you are still of the belief that that um, that co having COVID previously or multiple times would protect you, the a lot of the research has officially kicked you out of the out of gear here um, because they are not suggesting that anymore. Because basically, people who were unvaccinated were being hospitalized more than vaccinated people despite the fact that some people were still being vaccinated and hospitalized, you know, the variants are different. So everybody's experience is going to be different. Everybody's bodies are different. So even though we can, we can try to count on statistics, we can't depend on them to make our health decisions. You just have to, you know, you have to do what you need to do. So I'm going to go get my bivalent Moderna. I'll see you guys in a little bit. 